ladies and gentlemen, for game 20 on this season's grind, we're sitting at 31,300 FFA skill points, which is position 203 on the world leaderboard. Uh, overall record is 2,314 hours played on this account, 2,306 to 770. Uh, and we have 35 days, 8 hours, and 40 minutes until the end of season 15. What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Beat Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination a daily release on YouTube. I do weeknight streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels and come along the ride with me. <sighs> Welcome to another round <laughs> of Europe Advanced Fixed Capitals. I'm playing Orange on the third seat. These are my grind settings for this season. I'm really, really enjoying these games. We're playing Capital Conquest on Europe Advanced Auto 60 with a neutral AI fixed cards, true random dice because uh, caps rolls are broken. I think we block purple here. Um, Neutral bot because you don't want a automated AI in fixed capitals. Alliances are on, um, so we can negotiate. No fog, no blizzard, so the board is flat. And no portals. I'm in the third position playing as orange. And let's see how the cookie crumbles. Red chooses a terrible capital. Yeah, he neighbor caps me. That's fine if I hold and you hold. He neighbor caps me, and then I'm going to have a holy sweet. We also see an immediate bot out from green. Green takes lowest. I did feel a little bit sus when green and purple joined the lobby at the same time. So my spidey sense was already tingling about those two guys. I think I take the whole east here slowly. Okay, blue is an AI as well. We're a four player game to start. I'm gonna throw a heart to purple. So he understands the situation. And yes, it looks like he understands the situation. So I'm gonna build out of the bottom of the map. So I'm gonna take the plus four turn two. I'm gonna let him have his plus four and hopefully we have a good working relationship. Okay, black's gonna roll the four cap. No, black takes France. Great, that's way better. That's way better. I wish I had a bonus turn one, but that's not the way the cookie crumbled. Uh, maybe red rolls the four cap, maybe gets a bad roll. I would love to get that four cap of green. I expect what purple should do, I expect them to take this uh, split, yeah, and then fortify to capital, giving me the bonus I'm in. They don't move that three off. I'm going to be pissed off at them. Move the three off. It's friendly. That is friendly. Well played. Okay, cool. We're good. I don't have to start a war with my neighbor. Yeah, and red goes for the four cap here. I don't blame them. They land it. They only lose four troops. Looks like red is going to come off to an early lead unless contested by black, which is also good because red's cap choice is terrible. Um, so because nobody is here, I have a chance to control the East. So what we're going to do on our turn is all we're going to do is we're going to take these three territories. We're not going to break, fuck, we're not going to break purple. We're not going to guard against purple and we're not going to threaten purple. We're just going to keep all of our troops in Orient, indicating that that's the next bonus I'm trying to take. I don't think red fucks me from the bottom. Let's throw them an alliance. Let's actually throw black an alliance too. Who are we playing against? In the first seat, the red player is General Bakshi. 63, 63 from Germany. Um, choosing a cap up there tells me a lot about their skill level. It's not quite high. In the second seat, we have a neutral AI. In the third seat is myself, the Peatman. Playing as orange in the fourth seat, the black player is Zed Fang from the United Kingdom, who conquered France on the first turn and is now guarding. In the fourth seat, we had a player who bought it out on the first turn, and we see far too much of this for my liking. 
And in the ultimate suit, we have General Shimada, Shimada 43, 47, 34 from the United Kingdom playing as purple. I don't think purple guards against me. I think purple goes for Italy here is what I would do. But they are thinking about it. Do they break me? I doubt it. Oh, they involve themselves in the noob corner. That's great. Having a discontinuous, do they break red? No, they take Iceland. Yeah, great. This is going to piss everyone off. I am going to be taking this part of the board, which nobody seems interested in. And I'm going to leverage the territory advantage. I'm also going to want to hit that three of blue because the neutral bot's going to stack on it in perpetuity. Can I leverage both caps maybe to five? If I get the blue cap, I'm actually doing pretty well. Black and I are cool. I think I go for that next turn. Red now in two places. How long do we see stability? Whomever takes the blue capital will have the best claim on Russia. So I, I probably do want that sooner rather than later. Okay. And the red loses four and one. The next bonus they're trying to take is Germany. Okay. Blue puts in. Is the cap a six yet? Is not. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I get 12. Yeah, I think we just roll it now. Hope we don't get terrible dice. Oh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. We get terrible dice. Okay. Well, we've we've been bound to lose one of these games to luck, and this one, I think, <laughs> has to be gone now, right? So we rolled 19 on a five cap, and we lost 19, and they lost two. That's a pretty significant outlier, but it's not outside of the realm of possibility for true random. So these things happen, and that's sort of the way the cookie crumbles. when you're playing with true random dice, folks. So if purple lets me recover, I'm a happy man. I don't, wouldn't be shocked if they didn't. <laughs> we, we rolled a 20 on a five cap. We lost it all. That's probably the game for us. Does purple let me rebuild? Okay, it looks like he does. Does red let me rebuild? Does red snipe my capital? All of these guys are strong. Maybe they're not worried about me. I figure someone snipes my capital and just knocks me right out of this game. That's what I would do. It right, looks like red doesn't do it, so I live to rebuild. Which is incredible. <laughs> so, Kalu Kale. <laughs> Oh, Frab just day. They let me rebuild. Okay. Well then, folks. <laughs> well then, folks. That's fine by me. You guys want to let me rebuild. You probably shouldn't have. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I figured I was toast for sure. Do we see some wars finally? Black's not going to break me. But Black's going to take the plus three on the bottom line, right? Black's going to go pop, pop. If he was going to break me, what he would have already. Black is good and fast too. Yes. I'm fine with Black having that because I can still go this way. Throw him a heart as well. We don't need to fight down there. I'm going to slowly take Orient to not scare everybody. Hopefully, my opponents get involved with each other rather than me. I should just smack that four cap again. The chance of me getting back to back ridiculously unlucky? Never mind. Purple's going to take it here. Hopefully, you get ridiculously unlucky too, sir. Yeah, he does. Those troops defend like gangbusters, folks. That cap is rock fucking solid. Look at that.
Well, third time's a charm, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm God. I'm gonna go for it here. And if we lose it, if we lose it all that Russia cap, we just gotta laugh, right? Because we shouldn't even be in this game anymore. Red takes Spain. Uh huh. All right, give me a second cap, please. Maybe we manual it? <laughs> Does that seem like a smart play? Let's go. Come on. Perfect dice now. Whoppa! Yeah. You see, and now I lose one. So it's just like extreme outliers in both directions. But hey, we do land the cap on what? The fifth turn? On the fourth turn. Yeah, and now we're in a really, really solid board position because if we take Orient slowly, it shouldn't scare anybody. Yeah, wars already begin. And also nobody can take Russia. So that's my play, right? I sit on a plus four. I slowly take a plus six. And then nobody will even try for this because I'm the only one who can hold it because I have a cap in it. So red probably breaks one of black's positions. I, if I was red, I would steal this on the bottom line after that break. But let's see what red does. Sats gets the 10. He's breaking France. No, he's not. Yeah, I like this play better for Red. This continues the war. Fuck yeah, I hope he doesn't break me. Yeah, doesn't get super far with that. Cool, that war continues. Me and Purple are happy about that. We now have seven in Orient keeping me off the bonus. Bonus. Um, it's cheaper to actually just take Russia here. Maybe we do that. Start of hold board at 65. We are almost in the lead. Black is 66. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. After losing 20, to get nothing for our trouble. We should not be in a good position this, this game. So just staying out of trouble, letting our opponents hit each other as usual. Uh, and let's get to the Q&A question for the show. This one's from Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Hey, Pete. I'd like to get better at classic progressive. So no caps, no fog of war, no diplomacy. Is it better to have two to three stacks around the map trying to be as hard as possible to kill, or is it better to make one big puncher to make kills? Either way, I try to avoid taking bonuses and avoid making enemies. Great question, Jonathan. So I have an entire playlist on Classic Progressive. This is my roots in the game. Um, I started playing Classic Prog. I love Classic Prog. Okay, putting in there isn't ideal. It's just where he wants a card. Yeah, just wants an inoffensive card. That's fine. Um, I have an entire playlist on a lot of settings. I have a classic um, uh, progressive playlist. I have a classic fixed playlist. I have a multi-map progressive playlist. I have Map Master Mondays. I have the Europe Advanced Progressive Capital Series. And um, I put all these playlists together for you guys to get a good sample of games so you can get a sense of what works and what doesn't. Um, as far as the answer to your question, I started playing classic prog um, with a two position play when I came into this game. Let's see how our dice are. And I'm going to just pull two troops off to match. I don't want to threaten. He didn't ally me. This is a bit threatening, right? Taking a plus seven here. 
because it starts to look like pizza really big and juicy. Okay, does black address red? This war continues. Good. If this war continues, that's really good for me. Also good for purple. Okay, so as far as the two-position play versus the three-position play goes, um, Oh, sorry. I started with a two position play. I found myself, I found that being too fragile. So then I ended up switching to a three position play um, because inevitably one of my positions would get smoked. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's a haymaker. Okay. And then the 17 goes down. That's the end of black. He's splitting. No, the 17 should go down. Okay. Black's living, or purple's living dangerously with an 11 cap. That black can just. Double tap, but I guess he's expecting that uh, black got into a war. Oh, don't break. Yeah, he's not going to break me there. He's going to attack down and clean the black line. Cool. This is actually really good. It's a really good board position for me to just swarm out of the east and go top three. I don't push my advantage here. Yeah, we get another really bad roll, but it's okay because we have so many fucking troops. Purple's super strong. Um, black, if they have a set, they're going to double tap that capital and or break purple shit. I hope black doesn't quit here. Because I need black to take the revenge before they just admit defeat. Just admitting defeat, folks, is not what you want to do. It's a, it, it's a bitch move. Um, you might as well hit the guy that hit you. Otherwise, you're just teaching people that they can hit you without any retaliation. So we see this a lot where players just quit the game and it's, it, it bums me out every time. So now purple and red have the potential to coordinate against me. Maybe purple and I can still work together, but I look very scary in the East. So we'll see if this board stabilizes and how it does. As far as a one puncher in classic prog, don't do that. That's very risky. Um, as soon as the set is right, you will get outclassed. So don't do that. I highly recommend um, against the one puncher. Two position is okay. I think three position is ideal. It's basically how I answer your question. But uh, but check out the playlist. I have a lot of a lot of I've done a lot of work on classic progressive. So there's a ton to watch. Purple doesn't go bad to me. Does red. Looks like no. Yeah, so all I need to do is just take more of this bonus. Red sets gets the 10. They do go bad to me. Don't do that. Don't you break me. Not breaking me, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, happy with that too. So the way this board develops is red is gonna be here, here. Purple is gonna be here and here. I need to take Orient. I'm not gonna pop that nine stack. I'm going to guard on my capitals because they're both open at the moment. Do I take it? I think I should just take it, but I can get a bad roll on that nine is the problem. You know what? I'll take it one more turn. Yeah. Take one more turn. Green bot doesn't have anything. Black's worth four cards if you can kill it, but black has a ton of material. And they didn't surrender. They just closed their app in anger. So um, they're going to go the full 10 minutes before going MIA and waste everyone's time. As always, uh, I recommend that the game designers consider a turn limit for returns rather than a time limit because 10 minutes, the game state can change drastically. Okay, 
Purple takes Italy. I don't think purple breaks me. I'm still tied in terms of troops. I can throw up a heart. Most of my material is on capital. I have true, two really st strong caps to reciprocate on whomever breaks me. Yeah, and red has a ton of off-cap troops as well. Doesn't go bad to me. Attack red. I'm into it. So with this play... I'm going to hit a 9, I'm going to take the bonus, and I'm going to put it on cap, which lines into red and purple, but doesn't threaten purple. I didn't want to stack on this capital because it's too close to purple. So we do want a team on red. I don't want to be the one to throw the first punch. I'm down to do it. I'm now in a slate lead in terms of board position. If I get broken by red, obviously, I can retaliate, and that that makes me look more, more justifiable. Um, but status quo here is good for me. Purple try and advance their position. They're getting 22 a turn. What am I getting? 31 is 10, plus the caps uh, is 14, plus 4 is 18, plus 6, 24, plus 7. 31 a turn is too many. Purple not breaking. I'll take 31 a turn for a while yet. Yeah, I'll take 31 a turn for a while yet. Red has fully 30 troops down here guarding plus three. So when and if that gets knocked. Um, I'll have a hard time recovering, but, but good. Everyone has two capitals, which is good. I like the positioning of my two capitals. I kind of control, I naturally sort of control the east of this board with them. Uh, Let's make this a 50. Make this our puncher. Let's just get a card here before the stack is eliminated. <laughs> we get the green kill. Doesn't do anything and isn't worth anything. We're just going to pull more troops to our capital. Hopefully nobody gets the bright idea to break us. We're at 162 to purple's 135 to red's 124. top three scenario where I am out generating my opponents. I'm keeping most of my troops on capital so I can reciprocate breaks rather than threatened. But yeah, three player scenario can still go any way. All three of us are strong. So how do I encourage a war between my other two opponents? Red didn't ally, which is interesting. So we can't talk to red. Red also looks like the lower skilled player. So my goal is to get purple to piss off red such that that war goes, and then that's game over. Looks like purple is doing that. No, that stack goes to Sardinia. Ooh, that stack stays in the bonus red's trying to take. Red will not like that. Good, that's exactly what I wanted. Red does take Spain and locks off their capital. And pulls troops off my border. Yes. Yes. Okay. Pulling troops off my border feels good. It emboldens me. Don't want troops on Dinaridis. Work on the plus three now. 
That's totally fine. I don't need to fortify at all. Let's get a cup of coffee. I like this board position. Let's hope this doesn't go bad. Oh, I was hoping something like that would happen. I was very much hoping something like that would happen. So now red can't reciprocate. But red hates purple. They can reciprocate off their generation. This war continues and it benefits me. And I think I win quickly because of it. Fighting over a plus three of all things. <laughs> That's my favorite. Fighting over a plus three. I think they've probably admitted that I've won the game. So I'm going to stack on a capital that's open to the rest of the board. I'm going to take a plus eight. Isn't quite soft. It's soft to red here, but that opens a cap. It's soft here, but the cap's already open. I think, I think purple and red keep fighting each other for a second at this point. Yeah, that's what it looks like happens. These guys are playing for a second, it seems. I have an absolutely massive threat on purple. Keeping a 40 stack in Africa is so dumb when both your caps are that low. Red takes a 35, puts it in purple's ass. Yeah, that's game. We win this game quickly. Great. Fuck yeah. We get the dubs. Digga da digga da dub is. Uh, who gets third? I think red gets third only because purple allied me. So take this as another lesson, folks. Um, I will err on the side of the guy I can talk to. So accepting alliances is, is strategically beneficial, I, in my opinion. This game is lost. Both of these guys. Purple's thinking about breaking me, and it's far too late because as soon as he does, I just pummel the shit. Then I give him third instead. Purple wants to play for a second. He needs to just keep pushing into red, and I will give him second. And he can assume I'm favorable to him. He's going to kill black? Why? Why would you hit that much black material? Wrestle gets 15 a turn. Going to hit the 40? I want him to hit the 40. Hit the 40. 
That's so that's so many troops. <laughs> yes, I love you, Red. That's so hilarious. That's so hilarious. I love this. Let's just win this game now. Let's stop delaying and push our advantage. Make this a 10. Make this a 10. And we're going to just take this middle. Actually, I shouldn't push my luck here. Let's just go slow. Right now, that front is going to be closed off. And that plusy that you guys fought over, now neither of you get. Three hundred and two. We outnumber both of our opponents now, and they keep hitting each other. That's the end of this. This is no longer a. <laughs> this 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 win is a foregone conclusion. He kills black for four cards. Hey, okay. purple obviously doesn't know the black. No, he kills. He goes through a very expensive break. That is an incredibly expensive break line. Okay. The attrition is bad. Red still gets 11. What do you do with your 11? You beat on Italy. Trying to kill green? Dude, I snipe that. Not green, black. Try to kill black. Black is all, uh, three for four cards. That's good. That's actually a good value here. We get the cards. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good for our opponents, folks. Red can't backdoor me. Purple can, but then they get annihilated by a 161 cap. So we basically have four points. So we have a point in the north. We have a point in the middle. We have the cap. That's the threat. And we have a point in the south. And this is the pincer coming from the east. The west of this board is clogged, so if it gets too congested, players hit each other. There, there being no player cap east of mine was was very good for me. And then taking the other cap that was east of mine, despite the fact that I almost lost the game because of it, and I should have, <laughs> tells you a lot, folks. And that's another reason why I love these settings so much, because um, there is so much play to them. The fact that you can almost die and then still recover. I like that a lot, right? Different ways to leverage different skills in the game of Risk. I also respect Purple's decision. Ah, Purple quit. Okay, so Red actually gets second here. I was going to say, I respect Purple's decision not to go bad to me. So he chooses third instead of second.
Ooh, we fail that roll. Okay. Well, we can't really get in, so it doesn't matter. No lines for red to get in. Maybe try to steal that cap in the middle. Doesn't matter. I'll I'll pop it anyways. This is game. Good game, sir. I'll do the honor of killing everyone else before I kill you. Attack down. No, oh, just gets a card. Ah, uh, kills purple. Four cards. That's good value. And it's all over but the shouting, ladies and gentlemen. Bring a lot of bonuses, folks. It's a lot of bonuses. It's not enough bonuses. Come down off of London, if you'd like. Respect him for trying. It's a hopeless situation. This card block next turn. It's good enough. Hope you enjoyed, folks. I'm having a ton of fun with this series. I really am reticent to publish these videos because I don't want people to learn how to get good at these settings. Having these settings be games like this is really satisfying me. Well played, good game. Keep his cap long. Nah, we can keep Right? Kill it. Almost. There we go. GG. Mm. Feels good, folks. 40 minute game, not to shabba dabba doobie. And let's see the ranks. Uh, yeah, Red was a master. Good for you, dude. Good for you, General Bakshi. Defeating one novice, two beginners, and a master. And we rank up to 31,812 on the World Leaderboard, which is position 173, folks. Thank you for watching. We have now gone uh, 14 and 6 overall. I think we've only dropped one of these games, maybe two, depending on how you score it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the game for risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. A daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.